What up, Wagwan? At the Saint, it's your girl, Minna Dubia, and in this video, I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of new products, okay? So if you love that kind of a video and you got some time, let's just get into this makeup look or makeup tutorial. <laughs> All right, first, you know I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Lock-On Lip Primer. I always use this because why not? And it works. This is actually running out. I need another one. <laughs> and we are very zoomed in, so let me know. Comment below and let me know if you enjoy being this zoomed in, if this just looks better for you. Alrighty, we have the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Foundations. I have five of these, <laughs> and I bought these a minute ago. I'm just not getting around to the review. Let me prime my face with this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Primer. <laughs> I want to be matte. I don't want to be dewy. This foundation has a natural finish. Oh, Lord, you know that. That means a little bit of a shine, but I just want to see how much of a shine she won't give. And even from just looking at it, I'm like, oh, okay, I know which colors are just not going to work for me. It's hard to pick the colors online, but here we are. So with the Becca Ever Matte, you want to make sure you place it where you want and then pat. Don't rub too much or else you're going to get this thing bundling, crumbling up on you and it's just going to be yucky. And then you're going to be able to see it underneath your foundation. All right. So I only put that where I need it. Don't need to put that everywhere because I don't need to mattify every part of my face. Got a video on primers. If you wanna learn more, make sure you watch that. The first three that I got are 540N, 560C, and 620W. And then on the darker side, I have Rich 640W and 660N. Without even doing anything, I'm going to eliminate 540N, not my color. So there's that. I'm going to eliminate 660 N, too dark, not my color. <laughs> What's left over are these three. So we have 640W, 560C, and 620W. Know that 640W is too dark. Oh my gosh, what a waste of money. <laughs> That's how I'll be online is like, let me get a whole bunch because I don't know what's gonna be what. Okay, now we're left with these two. 620W, 560C. Let me just swatch the both of them. What the heck, we've narrowed it down to two, right? This is 560C, deep 560C. Oh, I should have I should have waited before I put my, my primer on. Shoot, 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 I always forget that. Oh, okay, this is not my color. 560C. Oh, I might need to go a little darker. Hold on a second. All right, this is 620W. Now this is a full coverage, color correcting, natural finish foundation with skincare in it, like collagen, which is hydrating and helps to, oh, oh. excuse me, collagen and niacinamide in it. I don't even think this is my color. Okay, here we go. That is a little lesson. It looked darker in here, but when I put it on my face, it's actually quite light. Neither of those two work. Hmm. Alrighty, so let's try something else. <laughs> let's go ahead and try 640W. It looked really dark, because otherwise I'm doomed. Oh, mmm, that is pink. It's got a pink undertone. Ooh, uh, wow, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Definitely don't think that 540N is gonna work for me. Oh my gosh, does that mean that none of these are gonna work? This is 660N. Let's try 660N. This is too dark. Let me put this right here. Oh my God. Now this just looks gray. So I didn't get my color. I bought five of these and I didn't get my color. These two are not gonna work. And then I did not swatch 540N because look at it. There's no way this is gonna work. There's no point. None of these, oh no. Okay, well clearly I'm not gonna wear any of these foundations today. <laughs> All right, well, so much for my e.l.f. cosmetics. And no, I'm not gonna blend them. They're not gonna work. I have some more to go. I cannot waste my time and play games. Oh, that is unfortunate. I gotta give all of these away. Mm, 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 mm. What a shame. And I'm so hungry right now. Okay, so then for foundation, I'm gonna just use my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation, the color Ganache. We're gonna just speed this up and then talk when I have something new to use. Now I do have a new bronzer. I've had this for a while. Oh, I haven't used it. This is the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Bronzer. Yeah, Freestyle Cream Bronzer in the coffee, in the coffee, in the color Toffee Tees. It is very deep. A little bit of purple in here. I'm going to use 
the back of my sponge, which I'll link below. All the products are linked below. I'm gonna use the back of my sponge and just twist some onto here. Oh, I can do more. Let me go easy. This looks dark, wow. Ooh, okay. You know, I used to use Studio Tech NW50 back when I was first doing makeup and I worked at MAC. This is giving me that vibe, wow. Oh yeah, I like this. This, I don't even need to put a powder bronzer on top. I was gonna use a powder bronzer, but no, no, no. This ain't even, that ain't even required. This is deep. Wow, okay, I like it. Do you use this color? Have you used it? I want you to comment and let me know. And now to set my under eye, I'm going to use this one size translucent powder. It's so tiny, teeny. It's like a travel size version of this. It's translucent. I hope it's actually translucent because like I said, I got somewhere to go and I can't be looking crazy. Okay, I'm gonna tap some off into the, cap. It's looking a little pink. Let me start off with a little bit first. All right, this is a Sigma Soft Blend 60 brush. Taking some, tapping off the excess, but of course I need to make sure there are no creases. Oh, I do like that. I am shocked, but I do like it. I was a little bit concerned. All right, now I'm gonna powder my face. Where am I at? I'm using Kosa's Cloud Set in the color Silky. I like these a whole lot, man, I really do. I got a new powder brush. This is Juvia's Place one, 201 brush. I need to clean my other one. And here we go. We're just placing all over. I'm gonna go over the bronzer to help set it. Since I'm not gonna put a powder bronzer on top. This is gonna add a little bit of color, but really bring the face in so that everything looks smooth and good and even and not crazy. Interesting, okay. I have a new brow product. I do have this Revlon Color Stay Brow Creator. Alrighty, so for eyeshadow, I have a few palettes. Let's see, I do need a transition color and I don't know what I'm gonna transition with. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use this brownie bar face and what? Oh, face palette. <laughs> Originally I wanted to use this to contour or to bronze, whatever, but this is already deep enough for me, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm gonna use this color in the middle to transition my eyeshadow. So let's just see. Yeah. So obviously this could be used as a blush, which I actually am gonna do. You really could use the transition color as a blush if you're going with this orangey red type of a color like this one that I'm using in this face palette from Beauty Bakery. This is really nice. So there's a bronzer in here, or really I would call that a contour powder. And then there is a highlighter in here. And then there's this, which I'm using as a transition color, but could totally be a blush color. Yeah, this was totally meant to be blush. Like for instance, let me do my highlighter right now, which is the gold color that's right in here. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I've been so spoiled by the Rare Beauty highlighters because they melt right into the skin. I don't like this, shoot. I am so spoiled, I, I kid you not, those Rare Beauty highlighters are gonna do my highlighters for the rest of my life. I, I don't like, it's just different. It's just different. Liquid highlighter is just different. This ain't doing it for me. I mean, it's okay above the lip and right here, but it's not doing it for me like Rare Beauty does. I use the liquid illuminizer in the color Flaunt and uh, it just floats my boat and finds my lost remote every time. Oh, uh, this just looks like specks of something on my face. It's not my favorite. Now as a blush, let me use this orangey color in the middle and that is pretty. Oh, my cheeks are not looking how I want them to look at all, at all. I'm skipping around right now, I never do this. <laughs> but I just wanted to see what it looked like on my face. And I like it. I'm not gonna build it up too much. Oh. Because it's a, it's a three in one, I really would prefer to just have this by itself. I don't want that, but that's okay, here we are. All right, now we need a lid color. Let's see, I wanted to use the Coach collection, but I don't know if there's a color in here that I really, maybe I should go for these mauves. Okay, wait, let me bring this color under my eye because that's a great way to tie your eye look in. So bring your crease color underneath your eye. So let's do that. 
So if you watch my vlog, then you know that I do have my hands on the Sephora and Coach Collection collaboration, which I like a lot. This is so cute. This is the Sharky eyeshadow palette. I love it. It's just like such the cutest thing in the world. Let's see, maybe I'm going to go with, I like what this one looks like. I like how Amethyst is looking. I'm gonna do a little bit of, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see how I'm feeling first of all. I feel like I need to use a synthetic brush. Ooh, look at that. That is a really pretty color. All right, and now, I don't know. I'm gonna take this color Sienna. It's like a mauve. This is coming out darker than I expected. Wow, Sienna definitely looks a lot lighter in the palette. This is really subtle. And now I'm gonna go with a little bit of Onyx just to deepen the corner here. Just a little. I love the whole idea. I really do love. I just don't like the eyeshadow palette as a as an all-encompassing palette. This to me would be a companion palette. So for me, it would need to be, I'm looking for something to do my eyeliner. I'm taking this Maven palette to use the black. I was trying to do one whole eye look with it. And yes, I've done something, but this is not my most favorite eye look in my whole life. This is just not it at all. I'm just not feeling it. And because this glitter on the, on the side of my face too, I just the look is really not doing it for me right now the way I would like for it to do. I'm taking a black eyeshadow and a liner brush and I'm making a liner out of it. The eyeshadows in the palette and that particular palette I think are great for be used in conjunction with something else. And even though I used that face palette to, to apply my crease color, the whole look just ain't doing what I need. Okay, like I'm just not really blown away by this at all. All right, and this black liner is Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in the color Deepest Black from Koki Cosmetics. And now with the same liner brush, I'm gonna smudge this liner. To brighten my inner eye, you know, I always do that. I'm gonna just take this CoverGirl Super Stunner Highlighter and put it in my inner eye. Ugh. You're probably gonna be like, what? This look is so great. I wish I could do it, but. Revlon Big Bad Lash Mascara. This stuff is so good. And for the bottom mascara, while my lash glue is prepping, you know I like to use the It Cosmetics Superhero. So for my lip, I, I tried this out yesterday and I like it, but I wanna show you. Okay, this is the Maybelline New York Color Sensational Matte Lipstick and this is the color More Truffle. Like, this is such a beautiful caramel orangey brown color that I totally could wear on its own. I just wouldn't feel my best in a color like this on its own. But what I did yesterday was take the color More Buff and put it in the middle to brighten the lip and yeah. Yes, and these are very comfortable. They're not a drying mat. Okay, so we finished the look. We have a little something going on. I These lashes are a little bit crazy today, but we're gonna leave them alone. It's not my most amazing look, but I do feel pretty. The purple is beautiful. Like I said, the eyeshadow palette to me is to be used in conjunction with others. So if the price is okay for you and you wanna give it a shot, I think it's worth it. The rest of the stuff, we talked about it already. I guess I could have went a little darker with the bronzer. I could have, but right now I don't wanna put it on and then make things look weird. But I could have done that. The blush is pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna keep that palette. The highlighter is not for me. I love 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 my rare beauty one you know that i always use it the lip is amazing this is my second day using it and i like it a lot i want you to comment below and let me know which part of this makeup look was your favorite and if you've tried any of these products before as always i'm glad you're here i want you to subscribe and i thank you for watching bye